maths class in today's class we will learn some interesting concepts of multiplication yes you can see it on my screen uh, i have done one example of multiplication where i have multiplied a two digit number with another two digit number by my normal school method and traditional method but now i will teach you how to do this question quickly and in few seconds with the help of vedic maths yes so the sutra sutra says vertically and crosswise so vedic math sutra in this case we will apply is vertically and crosswise and we also call it as urdhva tiragbhaya so to apply this concept let us learn first few very simple examples then we will do this example also with the help of vertically and crosswise okay so let's take a simple example this concept is applicable when you have to multiply a two digit number let's take 32 and this side you take 21 okay now according to this vertically and crosswise first we will draw these two arrows vertically downwards and then we will draw a cross in the middle okay so first step you write the Uh, numbers which you want to multiply in this pattern like we do with the normal multiplication then we draw two arrows vertically downwards and then one cross in the middle now write your answer like this divide into three parts now first part starting from right you multiply 2 with 1 so 2 times 1 is 2 now multiply last with last 3 times 2 is Yes. Now, according to this cross, you multiply. Like three times one is three, and two times two is four. So, and now, but you have to add these two products. So, three plus four is seven. So, you put seven in the middle. Okay. So, I'm again repeating this uh, uh, these steps here. Two times one is two. Three times two is six. In the middle, you multiply. Uh, numbers which are coming in the cross and add both the answers so 7 will be in the middle so our answer of this multiplication is 672 so you can see it here with the help of this vertically and crosswise method we have got the answer very quickly let's take another example of this criss cross method Okay, suppose you want to multiply this thirty-seven uh, with, let's take twenty-four. Thirty-seven and twenty-four. Again, the same process. Vertical arrows downwards, then cross in the middle. Divide your answer into three parts. Seven times four. Twenty-eight. Three times two is six, and now in the middle it will be three times four, twelve, and seven times two is fourteen. So in the middle it will be your twenty-six. Now twenty-six will be here. Now one in thing you have to keep it in mind here. If at the second place, this middle place, and at the last place you get a two-digit number. you have to shift it the 10th place of the two digit number to its right side or to its left side sorry to its left side so what we have to do it here like here 28 is there so you shift this 28 to this side see our answer is this 6 26 and 28 so you shift this 2 to this side start from right 8 will be as it is This two you will shift to left side. Two plus six will give you eight. Now this two will be on the next side because this twenty six is also a two digit number. So two plus six is again eight. So our answer is eight 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 in this case. So whenever you get a two digit number here in your second and your third place. you have to shift the 10th place of that number to its left side so here we have got the answer 
as 888. So let's do the same example, this one in the beginning, which I showed it to you with the help of Vedic Maths now. Now, if you want to do 78 times 52 with this vertically crosswise method, same thing you need to apply here. This 7 and 5, 8, 2 and this cross in the middle. So now draw these two lines, divide your answer into three parts. So eight times two is 16 here. Seven times five is 35. And in the middle, seven times two, 14. Eight times five is 40. So it is your 54, okay? So 54 will be in the middle. Now I told you, that if you get a two digit number in this place or at this place, you have to shift this part to the left side. So now shift this one to the left side and add one and four. So start writing your answer, six as it is. One plus four is five. Five, this one 54 is again a two digit number. So five again will be shifted to this side. Five plus five is 10. And then 10, that one, you need to carry this side now. So three plus one is four. So you can see we have got the same answer with this two line uh, method only. Okay, so now you can try the two digit multiplication with two digit multiplication with this vertically and crosswise method. So you can note down some questions which you can do with the help of vertically and crosswise. Like for example, if you want to multiply 83 times 48 or 34 times 63, any two digit multiplication, take one more example, 56 times 75. So it can be any two digit number with any two digit number. So if you want to do these multiplications, you can do easily with this vertically and crosswise. Now let's do one more method, which is also very, very interesting. That is called multiplication by 11 method. You can see it on my screen now. I have done this multiplication of this four digit number with 11. Now you can see I have applied a long method because it's the traditional method. Now how to do it with Vedic method that we will discuss now. But before taking a four-digit four number, let's take a simple two-digit number. Suppose you have 23 and you want to multiply it with 11. Now, 23 times 11, the concept is you write the number as it is, step number one. And in the middle, you put the sum of these two digits. That means two plus three is five. So two plus three is five. So this 253 is our answer. So see, it is so simple to do and without any long calculation. Now let's take another number, 54 times 11. Same process, five and four as it is and five plus four, nine in the middle. So answer is 594. So in these cases, you can see the concept is very simple. Just write a number as it is. And in the middle, you just add the digits and that will be your final answer. But what to do if you have, if after addition, you are getting a two digit number in the middle. There you have to apply one little extra step. Like for example, suppose the question is 67 times 11. 67 times 11, first step is same. You write six, you write seven. Six plus seven is 13. So 13 will be in the middle. Now, six, one, three, seven is not our final answer because it's a two digit number and it cannot be two digit here. So this one, you need to shift to the left side. I told you that always we shift the 10th digit of the two digit number to its left side. So in this case, it will be your 737. So 737 is our final answer. Let us take one more number here. Suppose it is 78 times 11. 
तो सेवन एज इट इज एट एज इट इज एंड सेवन प्लस एट इज फिफ्टीन नाउ फिफ्टीन इज अगेन अ टू डिजिट नंबर सो वन विल बी शिफ्टेड टू दिस साइड एंड विल बी एडेड टू सेवन सो आंसर विल बी एट हंड्रेड फिफ्टी so whether it's a two digit number or a three digit number the concept will remain same so you have to just add the uh, tenth place of the number to the left side now take another case when you have a three digit number like for example if it is 2 3 4 11 12 13 14 so start with the right side digit number 4 now you need to just shift to the next digit so in this case 4 plus 3 is 7 here because 4 as it is and the next one will be shifted to the next one 4 plus 3 7 now add this 3 and 2 3 plus 2 is 5 and 2 because nothing after this so 2 will be as it is so in this case also if it is a three digit number also you have to write the first and the last digit as it is and in the middle number in the middle because it is 3 here so you have to add the digits in this order let's take one more case if it is your 345 times 11 so 5 as it is so if you have a three digit number you apply this concept that it is like last digit as it is then shift this one to this side add these two 4 plus 5 is 9 then 4 plus 3 is 7 and then after this nothing is here so 3795 so if it is a simple two digit number just add both the numbers and put in the middle if you have more than two digit numbers you copy the last digit as it is and then you multiply uh, then you add the same number to the next digit now let's do this the given example with the help of the same concept 4263 times 11 now start with the last digit 3 as it is 3 plus 6 9 six. 6 plus 2 8 four plus 4 plus 2 6 and then after this nothing is here if any carry over is there it will be added to 4 if no carry over is there it will be added to the the number will remain same now you can see 4 6 8 9 3 which we got it with this long long calculation now we have just got it with the single line concept so this is called multiplication by 11 concept now you can easily do some questions based on multiplication by 11 with this concept you can try two digit numbers you can try three digit numbers and you can try more than that also this concept is applicable for all the numbers which you want to multiply with 11 so you can try these questions suppose the question is 78 times 11 or 69 times 11 or 353 times 11 or it can be more than that 6 2 3 4 times 11 so you can try these questions with this concept and you will get all the answers very quickly and in few seconds only so i am closing my class here only in the next class we will learn some other interesting multiplication tricks so till that time you do the practice of these concepts see you in the next class thank you everyone